Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm here today with the 25th week of WeeklyPokerHand.com, where today I'm going to be going over a hand history from a mid-stake tournament I played online a while back. As you can see, we are 100 big blinds deep. The cutoff limps, the button limps, and I like to just check in the big blind with the ace-jack offsuit. And right here I think raising is perfectly fine. I, would, I don't really have a problem with raising. Um... But in general, I like checking here. I think your hand's going to be very underrepresented, and anytime you can vastly underrepresent your hand, that's always a very good thing. So, we do like to check. It comes 7 3 2, nothing really going for us. I fully plan on check folding here most of the time. Um, you can consider a check raise, because this is a board that will hit a big blind checking range some percentage of the time. Uh, sort of the cool part about checking pre flop is that you can really have anything, and a lot of the time they will discount the premium hands from your range, so if like big cards come, you can't really represent that, which is why they will pay you off, and if little cards come, you can represent those, so you can tend to get a little bit extra fold equity in spots like that. So, check raising is certainly an option. Check calling is pretty pretty ugly. You really don't want to be check calling here. We turn an ace, so I go ahead and bet out. Again, this is a spot where you know my hand's going to look pretty underrepresented here. I, I think our hand is almost certainly good. And they both call. Anytime two people call you, you always need to try to figure out what they have and what you're going to do on each individual turn card. So right here when they both call, I think they could easily have an ace, either of them. And if they have an ace, I almost certainly have the best ace because they probably would have raised with two pair. They could have any of the straight draw type hands, like 6-4, six, 6-5, four, six, four, well, the 4 or 5 would be a straight, so they'd probably raise that. And they could have flush draws. So right here, I think I probably have the best hand, but there really aren't too many t rivers I should be going for extreme value on, because, for example, this 8 here, even though it doesn't really change much, I now lose to 7-8, but I don't think they have 7-8, because they probably would have bet the flop. I lose to Ace-8. And that's about it. So I guess the play here is to go for a bet and then fold to a raise. And I think that would be pretty good here. I, I think a lot of players are only going to raise you with a better hand. So I do make a bet here. I think I'm a, I make a little bit too large of a bet. I'd prefer something more like 400. And we do get min raised. So at this point, this is one of these spots where I think you just sort of have to man up and find a fold. And, you know, I'm not going to say you should always fold here, because some players will be looking at their hand, and they'll have ace-9, and they'll think it's the nuts in this situation. But more often than not, especially against straightforward, sort of like ABC players, this is a spot where you just have to find a fold. And um, I'm a fish in this game, so I don't. And we end up getting shown exactly what, he's rep what he represents, is ace-8, and... You know, it's sort of unfortunate that's like the one hand that we lose to, but, you know, we do lose to that one hand, so I think I think we just have to find a fold here. You know, a lot of players will be looking at this and think, well, wait, we're getting good odds, so we should probably call, but in reality, if, if you're losing to this whole range, you probably just have to find a fold. So, in the next part of this video, I'm going to take a look at this hand from my opponent's point of view, and discuss what, whether or not I think he played his hand good or bad, and if he could have done anything better. So this has been Jonathan Little for WeeklyPokerHand.com. Thanks for watching.